Once again, welcome to the 2019 College of the Mainland Commencement Ceremony. We are, of course, here to celebrate our College of the Mainland graduates for a 10 a.m. ceremony. One more time, we'd like to ask if you have your mobile devices on you, please ensure that they are in silent mode or vibrate mode at the least. Also, we'd like to remind you we do have on-site child care. If you'd like to take advantage of that with our child development office here on site, children five and younger are eligible for free on-site child care.
Would everyone please be seated? Good morning and welcome to the 2019 commencement ceremony of the College of the Mainland and the joyous culmination of this academic year. Today's ceremony is being live streamed on the internet, so I would ask your help with two things. I'll pretend like you're at the movies and silence your cell phone. Second, should your children become restless, we have a child, free child care available during the ceremony, and uh, you can check more about that, uh, which is available in the front lobby. And thank you for your cooperation. Now that I've had you sit, I'm going to ask you to stand for the playing of the national anthem, and then remain standing for a moment of silence, please. If you will indulge, we'd like to take this moment of silence to recognize though we have tragically lost a year ago today at Santa Fe High School. So if, would you join me please in a moment of silence to honor those at Santa Fe and others that we have lost throughout this year. Thank you, and please be seated. Welcome again, my name is Warren Nichols, and I have the privilege and the honor of serving as the president at College of the Mainland. There's an old proverb that says, if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. We come together today because everyone at Colleges of Mainland has played some role in the success and the accomplishments of the students we are celebrating today. And we feel honored to have accompanied these students on their educational pathway. I'd like to recognize the faculty who have shared their considerable expertise and experience with our students, and equally as, as important, taught them how to learn, how to think critically, and how to set goals and accomplish those goals. I would also like to acknowledge our staff who welcomed the students to campus, made sure they got to the right place on campus, helped them find the financial resources, offered academic support outside the classroom, 
and provided them with a safe and engaging learning environment. Would you help me in recognizing the faculty and staff of the college? Faculty, staff, would you please rise to be recognized? Thank you. And to the students, we know what an incredible day this is for you. You have sacrificed money, sleep, and time with your family and friends to achieve your goal. But in case you have not figured it out yet, I assure you it was all worth it. Your success and accomplishments are far from your hard work have been helped by the support of your family and friends. Students, I invite you to take a moment to stand and thank those who helped you get here. Please rise and thank your family and friends for their support. Today is also our Armed Forces Day. I would like to thank those serving in the military, our military veterans and their families. Would our veterans all please stand and be recognized for their service? All veterans. As we gather the, today in celebration of our graduates, I thought a few uh, interesting items might be of, of, uh, of, of enlightenment. We have a total of 935 students. They're not all walking today, but we have 935 students receiving 1,024 awards. By the way, that's the highest in the uh, in the College of the Mainland's uh, history. <clears throat> 586 or 61 percent of our graduates are female. <clears throat> Guys, that leaves. Oh, <laughs> yeah, only 39%, which is 369, are guys graduating today. Uh, <laughs> 67 of those graduates are over the age of 45. The average age of our graduate is 28. Now here's a really staggering number. There are 83 collegiate high school graduates I'm gonna repeat that because I was interrupted. <clears throat> There are 83 collegiate high school graduates with five of those graduates receiving two degrees and nine dual credit graduates. These students, these 83 collegiate high school students are receiving a college degree before they graduate from high school. <laughs> collegiate rise and be recognized. We also have with us our second College of the Mainland Scholar graduate. 
To achieve this, a student must complete at least 12 hours of college honors credit, 24 hours of approved community service, and must maintain a 3.5 grade point average or higher. Our congratulations go to our second Tom graduate, scholar graduate. Congratulations to Roselle Robles. We're also, as one might expect, not all just from the Galveston area. We have graduating today students from several countries. We have Lieben Chen from China is receiving an Associate of Applied Science degree in accounting. We have Hamza Ibrar from Pakistan is receiving an Associate degree of Arts in Business. We have Files Ortenio from Kenya receiving an Associate of Applied Science in Nursing. And Barak Timel from Turkey is receiving an Associate of Applied Science in Process Technology. Congratulations to all. It's now time to introduce our stage guests and ask them to stand and be recognized when they are announced. First, I'd like to announce and recognize the members of our Board of Trustees, Mr. Kyle Dixon, our Chair, Mr. Alan Waters, our Vice Chair, Ms. Rachel Delgado, Mr. Donald Gartman, and Ms. Melissa Skipworth. We also have uh, members on the platform that are part of our College of the Mainland Administration. We have Dr. James Tipler, our Vice President for Instruction. <laughs> Dr. Vicki Stanfield, Vice President for Student Services. <laughs> Dr. Clint Burton, Vice President for Fiscal Affairs. <laughs> Mr. Ron Levick, Chief Information Officer. Dr. Carla Boone, Dean of Workforce and Continuing Education. Dr. Steve Sewell, Dean of Academic Programs. And Dr. Chris Kimbark, our Dean of Students. Also with us on stage today is our keynote speaker and a soon to be graduate of the class of 2019, Adrian Carvaz. Please join me in welcoming our chair, Mr. Kyle Dixon, to say a few words to the graduating class and their families. Excuse me, I lost my place on this. I seem to have lost my place. Um, welcome here today for the 2019 graduation of the College of the Mainland. Uh, congratulations to all of you. You've done a fine job. This is just a first step in what I will wager are many steps of success in your life. Thank you all who have supported those who sit here in front of me. Uh, you are also worthy of praise because without a lot of you, they would not be here. Again, welcome to the 2019 College of the Mainland graduation. We're proud of you and we look forward to your success. I'd now like to recognize, uh, invite uh, Dr. Uh, Vicki Stanfield, the Vice President for Student Services, who will recognize the graduating student leaders. Thank you. The following names I'm about to introduce represent the 2019 graduating student club officers who volunteered their time and leadership roles in a number of student organizations on campus. We appreciate your service and we want to recognize you for your accomplishments. If you would, please hold your applause until I complete the list of names. Um, Phi Theta Kappa, Autumn Delicio, President. Adrian Caravas, 
College Project Co-Chair and Treasurer, Samantha Wiley, Honors in Action Chair, Solomon Rohde, College Project Co-Chair, Alexandria Martinez, College Project Co-Chair and Historian, Student Government Association, Xavier Hernandez, Vice President, Daniela Gonzalez, Treasurer, Elizabeth Urban, Historian, Susan Urban, Parliamentarian, Abigail Mendoza, Secretary, Alejandro Flores, Senator, Gabriela Ochoa, Senator, Art Club, Emily Hanna, Co-President, Com Fit Club, Emily Schaus, President, Rosel Robles, Treasurer, Marcella Monsevieus, Media Representative, Cosmetology, Shannon Lafey, President, Jessica Porter, Vice President, Paige Elmore, Treasurer, Carla Valdez, Secretary, Gamers Union, Blessing Adibayu, President and SGA Representative, Aaron Hip, Vice President, B. Galahandro, Secretary, Japanese Culture Club, Rihanna Wheeler, President, Judith Salas, Historian, Minority Men for Excellence, Matthew Bell, President, New Psy, Alexandria Halberg, President, Caitlin Robinson, Vice President, <laughs> Jalea Foster, Secretary, Christina Helberg, Treasurer, Alondra Alanis, SGA Representative, Emily Hanna, Senior Class Representative, Abigail Mendoza, Project Greenlight Representative, Nursing Student Association, Shauna Hansen, Secretary, Caitlin Squires, Treasurer, Phi Theta Kappa Debate Club, Adrian Caravas, President, Isaiah Galindo, Vice President, Abigail Mendoza, Secretary, P Tech, Barack Tamel, President, Shane Berg, Treasurer, Sickle Cell Awareness Club, Fabiola Anlozo, Chairperson, Vision Seekers, Steve Richards, Club President, Rosel Robles, SGA Representative. Please join me in congratulating the students on their dedication to College of the Mainland. And now we come to the part of our ceremony when we recognize and celebrate the ultimate accomplishment of our students, their successful completion of their educational goals and dreams, at least up to this point in their lives. We will begin by hearing from one of our candidates. Now I would like to invite Luann Wren, coordinator for the Collegiate High School program to the stage to introduce today's keynote speaker. Good morning. This morning's speaker is one of six collegiate high school students who spent their entire four years of high school at College of the Mainland. Four years ago, when he was being interviewed for the program, he was stumped by one question. What are your weaknesses? This question is, 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 this is a question that many struggle with, but after watching Adrian over the past four years, I found out why. Adrian is always very positive and sees the best in every situation. Even when he was unsure of his future career, he knew that he wanted to make an impact and improve the world we live in. He plans to attend the University of Houston and major in biotechnology this fall. Eventually, he plans to become a family practice physician to fulfill his personal goal of helping as many people as possible. While at Com, Adrian was a member of NUSI and the Student Activities Fee Committee. He held an officer position in Phi Theta Kappa and was president of Pi Kappa Delta this past year. He is the current Odyssey Academy valedictorian and is graduating with two associate's degrees today. I would like to introduce to you Adrian Caraves.
Thank you, Mrs. Wren, for the amazing introduction. Can we please give her another round of applause because she truly deserves it all. I would like to commence by saying graduates, friends, families, professors, administrators, President Nichols, the Board of Trustees, the people behind the scenes, you know, everyone that is in the building or watching from afar, it is an honor to be speaking in front of all of you today. You cannot see, but I have goosebumps. <laughs> and before I tell my story, I would also like to speak on behalf of all of the students in caps and gowns when I say we appreciate and recognize that we could not have become who we are today without you. So thank you all for being here with us on one of the most memorable days of our lives. <clears throat> With that being said, I began my journey at College of the Mainland four years ago when I was 13 years old. And the first thing I noticed while being at Calm, besides the ducks and geese, was the atmosphere. Now, I'm not referring to the one up there, but rather the one around here. Calm's atmosphere was and still is full of a diverse network of people, and no, not just diverse in race but in backgrounds, ideas, ages, and ambitions. You see, Calm prides itself on embracing and celebrating the rich diversity of all people because Calm wants to prepare us to thrive in a diverse, dynamic, and global environment. And that is just one of the many things I love about this school. But if I'm being honest, my first semester at Calm was a whirlwind, to say the least. Before coming here, I had only attended one school throughout my entire life, shout out Odyssey Academy. Um, so basically, calm was a culture shock. Some questions that went through my mind were, what the heck is a syllabus? <laughs> Colleges still use blackboards? How and why does a textbook cost $300? <laughs> and my favorite, I don't have to come to class? At the end of my first week of college, all I knew was that I needed to grow up fast. If you, didn't really know me, if you didn't really know me four years ago but were to see me, you'd probably think, that's a good looking young man. No, you'd most likely think, that's a pretty shy kid. And you'd be right, I was a shy kid. I never sat in the front, I never asked questions, and I rarely talked to anyone I didn't know. I just went about my day and hoped for the best, and although that mindset works for a while, it doesn't work long term. I quickly realized and understood that in order to be successful, I needed to be able to communicate well with others by any means possible. I even learned some sign language. Hello, nice to meet you. I can continue to summarize all four years here, but all in all, attending Calm was the best decision I've made in my life thus far. And don't get me wrong, I've made some pretty great decisions like skipping a grade, working with NASA's International Space Station mission team, and my proudest, binge watching 14 seasons worth of Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> I say attending Calm was my best decision so far because Calm is where I was provided the best education by the best faculty at the best price. I made so many friends here at Calm from students to custodians to professors to administrators. I went from not talking to anyone to talking to everyone. Calm is where I became an officer in Phi Theta Kappa and created a nationally distinguished college project about the benefits of attending a community college and was able to present that project at local high schools such as Dickinson, Hitchcock, Odyssey Academy, and Texas City. Calm is also where I became the president of the speech and debate team and developed a team bond like no other. In my unbiased opinion, we were arguably the most fun and educational organization to be a part of on campus. Sorry, SGA. <clears throat> Calm. <clears throat> Calm is also where I became a family member in an organization known as Minority Men for Excellence and was able to inspire fellow minority male students to aspire to reach their goals um, <clears throat> and exceed our expectations, maximizing their true potential. Calm is also where I examined genuine human cadavers alongside Dr. Robin Wright and the Science Club to put that into perspective, I held a human brain with the eyes and spinal cord still intact. I can go on and on about all the amazing clubs and orgs and events and activities that I was able to be able to be a part of, but the main point is I am eternally grateful and thankful for all the opportunities that were provided to me and the memories that I made here at Calm. But enough about me, today is about us. 
to College of the Mainland's class of 2019. We made it. <laughs> All the early mornings and late nights we spent studying to grow more knowledgeable and be able to graduate with an associate degree were worth it, or at least we hope. The blood from the paper cuts the sweat from writing so fast, trying to get all the material down before the professor changed the slide or erased the whiteboard, and the tears of sorrow and or joy from every course we took part in and learned from. Everything led to this beautiful ceremony right here. After today, some of you will pursue a four-year degree, and some of you will begin or continue your career in the workforce. Regardless of what path you choose, always remember your roots. Remember that it is calm where you worked hard and earned that degree. Remember that it is calm where you met that lifelong friend. Remember that it is calm that supported your academic and career goals no matter how big or how small. As you continue your journey of life and continue to be successful no matter how many obstacles are thrown your way, I implore you to have an attitude of gratitude and make calm proud. And before I leave this podium, I'd like to give my thank yous and show my gratitude to the people that have shaped my life for the better. First and foremost, I'd like to thank God for blessing me with the life that I live. Thank you to President Nichols, the Board of Trustees, and everyone else that takes part in continually making Calm a better place to receive a post-secondary education. Thank you to Mossbacher Odyssey Academy and the Collegiate High School Program for always supporting and believing in my career aspirations. Thank you to all of my professors, especially Dr. Davis, Dr. Johnson, Dr. Liedlong, Professor Naranjo, Ms. Ratley, Mr. Satoyas, and so many others for teaching me how to think at a higher level and much faster pace. Thank you to my debate family, Coach Joni Delgado, Mr. Joe Willis, Isaiah Galindo, Fabiola Alonso, Maisie Fernandez, Martez Jones, Bailey Tallman, everyone for for providing me with memories that I would cherish forever and for teaching me how a leader should not only talk the talk, but also walk the walk. Thank you to my brothers, Angel and Jose, for giving me rides to and from school when I missed the bus and for giving me two people to admire and aspire to be like. Last but not least, thank you to my parents. Without them, none of this would be possible for me, literally and figuratively. It is their sacrifices, big and small, their love, tough or not, and their support, wanted or sometimes unwanted, that form the foundation of my success as a student and as a holistic individual. So, mom, dad, wherever you are in here, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for absolutely everything you do and have done for my brothers and I. I love you and I try to make you proud every single day. And I know I disappoint when I forget to take out the trash. <coughs> and or forget to wash the dishes, and or forget to wash the clothes, and or <laughs> forget to clean around the house, but hopefully this speech and these two degrees make up for all those times. Y les agradezco a todos los miembros de mi familia porque sin ustedes nada soy, Por lo tanto, los amo a todos y los amo siempre. Please, graduates, if they are here, give your friends and family a huge round of applause. Now, this is the part where I leave you, and I would do so with a compliment. You all have the capacity of doing something amazing. You have already proven that through graduating from College of the Mainland. I, alongside everyone that supports and believes in you, don't ever want any of you to underestimate the power you have to be successful because it is your choice to be or not to be. Class of 2019, congratulations once again for this milestone. Now let's show the world what it means to be amazing. Wait, 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 wait. Although that was a good stopping point, I want to end with this. <laughs> like a duck on water, keep your head high and just keep swimming. Thank you.
Thank you, Adrian, and congratulations. Good morning. My name is James Templer. I'm Vice President for Instruction. And it is my pleasure this morning to announce the Teacher of the Year. Each year, students at College of the Mainland are invited to vote for an instructor to be honored as Teacher of the Year. Several hundred students cast ballots this year for the instructor who most inspired them to achieve success. The top six finalists were reviewed by a representative group of students and two winners were chosen, one from the general education faculty and one from the technical faculty. As I announce the finalists, I will ask those present to please come forward right up here and be recognized. Sparky Kerner. <laughs> Christina Perez. <laughs> Bernie Smiley. I'm honored to announce that the General Education Instructor of the Year Award goes to Bernie Smiley. Will the candidates for the degree of Associate of Science please rise? <laughs> Professor Nichols, it is a pleasure for me to present these candidates for the degree of Associate of Science. I certify that they have completed all the requirements for this degree as prescribed by College of the Mainland. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees, College of the Mainland, I hereby confer on these candidates the degree of Associate of Science. Candidates, will you cross right, wait in line until your name is called before crossing our stage. Fabiola Alonso, Natural Science, Phi Theta Kappa, Phi Kappa Delta. Adrian Carabas, Natural Science, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Phi Kappa Delta, Collegiate High School, Honors. Chance Cooper, Natural Science, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Collegiate High School, highest honors. <laughs> Isaiah Galindo, Natural Science, General Studies, Pi Kappa Delta, Collegiate High School. David Johnson, Natural Science, Collegiate High School. Anjali Kapju, Natural Science. Yeah. 
Aaron Leva, Natural Science. Daniel J. McQuarrie, Computer Science, Phi Theta Kappa, Honors. Abigail S. Mendoza, Natural Science, General Studies, Pi Kappa Delta, Collegiate High School. Caitlin Robinson, Natural Science, Collegiate High School, Honors. Bailey Tallman, Natural Science, General Studies, Pi Kappa Delta, Collegiate High School. Alyssa Taylor, Natural Science. Savannah Rose Uribe, Natural Science. Brianna Page Wheeler, Natural Science, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa. Candidates be seated. Will the candidates for the degree of Associate of Arts please rise? <laughs> Dr. Nichols, it is a pleasure for me to present these candidates for the degree of Associate of Arts. I certify that they have completed all the requirements for this degree as prescribed by College of the Mainland. Thank you, Dr. Templer, and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the College of the Mainland, I hereby confer on these candidates the degree of the Associate of Arts. Congratulations, candidates. Julia Marie Adek Schefnager, General Studies, Collegiate High School. Olu Afemi Blessing, Adabayo, General Studies, Collegiate High School, Honors. Alondra Alanis, General Studies, Collegiate High School. Sandra C. Alvarado, General Studies. Erica Arana, General Studies. Alonzo D. Archibald, General Studies. Julia, Julie Aranas, General Studies. Robert Arthur, General Studies. Madison Baker, General Studies. Alicia Valentin, General Studies. Janae Glenn Barrett, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Collegiate High School, Highest Honors. Rachel A. Berger, Visual Arts. 
Jeffrey Scott Blakeman, Jr., General Studies. Angela Blankenship, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, highest honors. Alexandra Bone, General Studies. Jocelyn Bustos, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Collegiate High School, Honors. Lillian Casino, General Studies, Collegiate High School. Jesse Boyce Castillo, General Studies. Alicia Charles Hollis, General Studies. Desiree Cogburn, General Studies, Collegiate High School. Jalen Michelle Cole, General Studies, Collegiate High School. Jordan Mackenzie Crow, General Studies, Honors. Paris Rene D'Artez, Business. Anais Davis, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Collegiate High School. Andrew D. Davis, General Studies, Collegiate High School. <laughs> Alma Natalie De Leon, General Studies, Collegiate High School. <laughs> Autumn Ann Delicio, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Collegiate High School, Honors. <laughs> Faith Elizabeth Early, General Studies. Shantae Eskridge, General Studies. <laughs> Alyssa Serda Fowler, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Collegiate High School. <laughs> Katie Farmer, Business. Deborah Lee T. Fleming, General Studies, Honors. Veronica R. Fleming, General Studies. Alejandra Flores Fernandez, General Studies, Phi Kappa Delta, Collegiate High School, Student Government Associate Senator. Stacy Flores, General Studies, Honors. <laughs> Jalila Foster, General Studies, Collegiate High School. <laughs> Bea Carmela Gallardo, General Studies, Collegiate High School. <laughs> Jocelyn Gama Nunez, General Studies, Collegiate High School. Levi Garcia, General Studies, Collegiate High School. Elizabeth Lila Gomez, General Studies. Linda A. Gomez, Business. Kelly Leticia Gonzalez, General Studies. Daniela Gonzalez, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Collegiate High School, Student Government Association Treasurer. Dalton Gray, General Studies.
Emily Teresa Janice Grease, General Studies, Collegiate High School. Vianaev Yayina, General Studies. Alexandra Hallberg, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Collegiate High School, Highest Honors. Christina Hallberg, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Collegiate High School, Highest Honors. John Michael Hamilton, General Studies, National Society of Collegiate Scholars. Emily Ann Hanna, General Studies, Collegiate High School, Phi Theta Kappa. Grace W. Hawkins, Business, Phi Theta Kappa. Hannah B. Haywood, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Collegiate High School, Highest Honors. Aaron Hip, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Collegiate High School, Highest Honors. Madison Hawker, General Studies. Kayla Hodges, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Collegiate High School Honors. Lisa M. Huerta, General Studies. Bradley A. Hall, General Studies. Hamza Abrar, Business. Drake Thomas Jackson, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Collegiate High School. Camden Avery Jones, General Studies. Daniel Jones, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Collegiate High School. Crystal Pace Jones, General Studies. Kiana Q. Joseph, Business, Collegiate High School. Amber Lynn Khalili, Business. Catherine D. Kluge, Business. Brandy Dawn Craft, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Collegiate High School. Kaylee Kunkel, General Studies. Mary Edwin Forto Lagrimas, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Honors. Nathaniel Allen Lecomte, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Honors. Angela M. Linkner, Business, Phi Theta Kappa, Honors. Jarek Lipscomb, General Studies. <laughs> Tierra Brianne Lipscomb, General Studies. <laughs> Casey M. Lopez, General Studies. <laughs> Marcella Lopez, General Studies. Phi Theta Kappa, Collegiate High School. Dylan Shane Martin, General Studies.
Alexandria Deva Martinez, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Collegiate High School Valedictorian, highest honors. Emily Martinez Briones, General Studies. Mertella Denise Martinez, General Studies. Samantha Lynn Martinez, General Studies. Teresa Martinez, General Studies, Collegiate High School. Justin Massey, General Studies, Collegiate High School. Christina Magoo, Business Phi Theta Kappa. Valerie Lynn McQuality. General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa. Kaylee Morgan Miller, Theater, Honors, Phi Theta Kappa. Kaylin Brooke Monroe, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Collegiate High School. Maricela Monsivayas, General Studies, Honors. Fernanda Barunda Montana, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa. Alejandra Sanchez Morales, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Collegiate High School. Tabitha Taylor Moresco, General Studies, Collegiate High School, Phi Theta Kappa, Honors. Trevor Stephen Moresco, General Studies, Collegiate High School, Phi Theta Kappa, Honors. Gail Molinix, General Studies. Tyler Scott Willard Nolet, General Studies, Collegiate High School. <laughs> Hannah Marie O'Kelly, General Studies, Collegiate High School. <laughs> Takima Oliver, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa. Raquel Ornelas, General Studies. Daisy Daniela Osario, General Studies. Cody Overmeyer, General Studies, Collegiate High School. Crystal Jasmine Padron, General Studies, Phi Kappa Delta. Carol Paredes, General Studies. Miriam Patronella, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa. McKenna Peterson, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Collegiate High School. Brandy Pelequin, General Studies, Collegiate High School. <laughs> Elmi Lucely Benitez Perez, General Studies. <laughs> Michelle Perez, Business. Morgan Perry, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Collegiate High School. Yeah. 
Russell Pickney Jr., General Studies, Collegiate High School. R Romeo Pimentel, General Studies, Collegiate High School. Ian Pineda, General Studies, Collegiate High School. Beatriz Posada, Business. Gabriel Purvis, Criminal Justice, Phi Theta Kappa, Collegiate High School, Highest Honors. Layla Olivia Rashid, General Studies, Collegiate High School. Angela Reboyoso, General Studies. Remington Reese, General Studies, Collegiate High School. Melissa L. Rich, General Studies. Bilal Rehan, General Studies, Collegiate High School. Jessica I. Rios, General Studies. Brian Keith Rattel King. General Studies. <laughs> Solomon Rohde, General Studies. Phi Theta Kappa, Collegiate High School, highest honors. <laughs> Jamie Robichaud, General Studies. Rosel Garcia Robles, Criminal Justice, Pi Kappa Delta, Phi Theta Kappa, Com Scholar. AJ Rodriguez, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Collegiate High School, Honors. Cecilia Maricelina Rosas, General Studies, Collegiate High School. Mariah Ruiz, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa. Jamie Rust, Business, Phi Theta Kappa, Highest Honors. Judith Angelica Salas, Theater, Phi Theta Kappa. Mary Carmen Salmeron, General Studies. Denise Elizabeth Schuster, General Studies. Clay Austin Shepard, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Collegiate High School. Eunice Shiwakoti, General Studies. Blaine Schollmeyer, General Studies, Collegiate High School. Emily Schaus, General Studies. Megan Marie Smith, General Studies. Sydney Elise Sotinko, General Studies, Collegiate High School. Anna Elizabeth Spear, General Studies, Collegiate High School. Honors, Phi Theta Kappa.
Landon Spoth, General Study, Phi Theta Kappa, Collegiate High School, Honors. Tyler Garrett Stanley, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Collegiate High School. Lauren Swear, General Studies, Collegiate High School. Ryan Sweeney, Music. Jessica Marie Torres, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa. Victoria Elena Tovar, General Studies. Elizabeth Marie Urban, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Student Government Association Historian. Suzanne Dawn Urban, Business, Phi Theta Kappa, SGA Parliamentarian. Chelsea Valentine, General Studies. Jessica E. Ventura, Business, Phi Theta Kappa. Nancy J. Vedato, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa. Yuri S. Vodyanitsky, Criminal Justice. Jake Ryan Watkins, Theater Arts. Eric LaShawn Walton, Jr., Visual Arts. Carly Lane Waters, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Collegiate High School, Honors. Cyan Watson, General Studies. Ashley Nicole West, General Studies. Maya Williams, Business. Emily Wilson, General Studies. Elijah Daniel Wimberly, Criminal Justice, Phi Theta Kappa. <laughs> Stephanie Mary Alexandra Wishart, Criminal Justice. <laughs> Michaela Ann Wolcott, Business. Dawson Wondra, General Studies, Phi Theta Kappa, Honors. Samantha Wiley, Visual Arts, Phi Theta Kappa, Collegiate High School, Highest Honors. Cameron Arian York, General Studies, Collegiate High School. Mandy Zapata, General Studies.
Graduates, please be seated. Will the candidates for the degree of Associate of Arts in Teaching please rise? <laughs> President Nichols, it is a pleasure for me to present these candidates for the degree of Associate of Arts in Teaching. I certify that they have completed all the requirements for the diploma as prescribed by the College of the Mainland. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the College of the Mainland, I hereby confer on these candidates the degree of Associate of Arts in Teaching. Clarice Gabrielle Castillo, teaching. Morgan Page Fleming, teaching. Sable Garcia, teaching. Kayla Renee Ham, teaching. Leanne K. Hitchcock, teaching. Rebecca Kirkpatrick, teaching, Collegiate High School, highest honors. Lauren Hunter McBatridge, teaching. Brittany Louise Mullins, teaching, Phi Theta Kappa, highest honors. Amy Juanita Perret, teaching. <laughs> Michaela Ariana Rosboro, yeah! teaching. Phi Theta Kappa, honors. <laughs> Ganesha Tarche Steele, teaching. Yeah! Keely Trotta, Phi Theta Kappa, Honors, Teaching, Collegiate High School. Sydney Turner, Teaching. Megan Rain Wiley, Teaching, Collegiate High School. Guadalupe Estela Zamaripa, teaching, honors.
Will the candidates please be seated? Will the candidates for the Texas Certificate of High School Equivalency please rise? <laughs> President Nichols, it is a pleasure for me to present these candidates for the Texas Certificate of High School Equivalency. I certify that they have completed all the requirements for the diploma as prescribed by College of the Mainland. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the College of the Mainland, I hereby confer on the candidates the Texas Certificate of High School Equivalency. Ladies and gentlemen, this is no easy task, and we heart goes out to all of these candidates and to the, uh, to the work that they had to do in order to make this occur as a first journey in their, in their uh, life. So, Congratulations to these uh, students. Emily Wheeler, High School Equivalency, Honors. Martha Arzu, High School Equivalency. Rosa Berryman, High School Equivalency. Eloy Botello, Junior, High School Equivalency, Honors. Veronica Branch, High School Equivalency. Victoria Broker, High School of Equivalency. Alexis English, High School Equivalency, Honors. Mary Cruz Fraga, High School Equivalency. Rosie Estela Garcia, High School Equivalency. Annalise Gonzalez, High School Equivalency. <laughs> Jessica Hastings, High School Equivalency. Derek Holmes, High School Equivalency, Honors. Karina Lerma, High School Equivalency, Honors. <laughs> Cynthia Medina, High School Equivalency. <laughs> Abril Mendiola, High School Equivalency. Jalisha Montgomery, High School Equivalency. Yeah. 
Caroline Parkinson Sims, high school equivalency. Dustin Pasco, high school equivalency, honors. Dora Portillo, high school equivalency. Crystal Robinson, high school equivalency, honors. Mary Lou Robinson, high school equivalency. Anne Marie Rodriguez, high school equivalency, honors. Jacob Solis, high school equivalency, honors. Hey, I did it, Mama. Noah Tiarina, high school equivalency, honors. Antolin Velasquez, high school equivalency. Yamileth Villegas, high school equivalency. Will the candidates please be seated? Today's ceremony has been filled with symbolism and practices dating back hundreds of years. The traditions in the commencement ceremony are repeated annually because they clearly establish the demarcation between the old and the new, the past and the future, and the potential and the achievement. Will the graduates please stand? In keeping, in keeping with academic tradition, you may now move the tassel from the right side of your mortarboard to the left. And if you, uh, if you care to know why you just did that, that is to signify your transition from a student to a graduate. Please join me in congratulating the College of the Mainland Class of 2019.
Now, if everyone will please be seated, we'll finish up. I want to thank all of the employees of the College of the Mainland who were involved in planning and executing today's event, especially Dana Gazda and our student services. They do an excellent job of making all this happen, not once, but we have another ceremony later today because we couldn't get all of the graduates in to just now. That's a wonderful problem to have, isn't it? So to all of you who came to support the graduates, thank you for being a part of this wonderful celebration. This concludes our graduation ceremony. The last thing we will ask you to do is to remain seated until the stage, guests, and the faculty, and the graduates have exited. Thank you, and have a great day, and safe travels. Thank you.